Today we are going to be doing the snake part of this artwork. We are going to be using a snake tracer so that we all have the same snake, but you will have a chance to do all of these dots using neon colors. So the first thing that I want you to do is on your blue paper on the back with a white color pencil I want you to write your name. Put it right in the middle so that it's easy to find. Then you can flip it over and we're going to have it the landscape way. At your table you're going to get two snake tracers. So you're going to have to take turns when tracing your snake. I am right handed so I'm going to hold it with my left hand and trace with my right. But because there's only two people that can use it at once, maybe the person next to you can help you hold it. You want to do the outline and then you'll want to go in and do the lines inside your snake as well. It does tend to move a little bit, so again, maybe having the person next to help you hold it. And if you need to fix any lines, you can do that. Next, we are going to be doing dots, lots of dots on our snake. We are going to be using neon colors. You will get a red or kind of a pink, a blue, a green, a neon orange, and a yellow. For each paint color there's going to be a q-tip and that q-tip is used for only that color. We are not mixing colors. And you can start anywhere. So I think I'm going to start with neon yellow and I'm going to keep one side of the q-tip clean always and the other side or one side with paint and the other side clean and I'm just going to start doing dots thinking of a pattern making sure my dots are nice and you're going to have to share as there's only one q-tip and then I think I'll do orange I'm going to do a pattern. I could do zigzag, I could do flowers, there's lots and lots of different patterns I can do but I want you to take your time. You have lots of time to do this. making nice bright dots. Again I could do a flower. Let me put color in the middle. But you are going to keep going, going around and around, doing all of the details on your snake until It is completely covered. Now we are ready to cut out our snake, add it to a background color, and add even more black and white dots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out our snake and we're just going to cut on those white lines. So I may start with my outline. Taking my time, making sure I'm doing a nice job cutting. Recycle my scraps. And now I'm going to cut along the edge there. So I'm just going to start and I'm going to go in exactly where you drew those lines the first day. You're going to cut along those lines now. 
Now we don't want to cut any part of our snake off. So be careful once you get to the head. You can see how I'm kind of just turning my snake, keeping it in the same position, turning it as I go. Again, we'll be a little careful as we get to the head and we don't because we don't want to cut the head off. Go ahead and start cutting out your snake. Next we are ready for our background paper. But before we do that we're going to make just a little spring so that our head kind of sticks up off of our body. So it's just going to be a little spring like this, folded gray paper, and we're going to set it underneath to have our head just pop up just a little bit. So at your table you're going to get a strip of gray paper, and we're going to fold it back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to fold it just a little bit one way, just the very edge I'm folding it this way, and then I'm going to fold it back this way. and then. You're going to keep going back and forth, back and forth until you have a little spring. We'll put that off to the side and we'll glue that in a moment. Now I'm going to turn my snake over. You're going to grab a glue bottle, make sure that it's open, there's no glue on the top. And what you're going to do is you're just going to glue go around the glue or around the snake and I have some glue here stuck on mine I can close it and grab all that extra glue there we go and I'm just gonna go along we don't need a ton of glue as we're going paper to paper but we want enough I'm going right in the middle of those lines you don't want to put it too close to the edge so it comes squirting out and I'll put some right on the head now the tricky part is going to be to flip it over all in one piece. So you're going to want to do this with two hands and you're going to want to do it slowly. Kind of put your hands underneath it, kind of pick it up almost like this, and then slowly tip it over. And if you, kind of gets a little messy, but if you can slowly place it down. And then as I'm gluing it, I'm kind of going to glue it so it doesn't quite match up perfectly. Maybe some of the spots are even tilting up a little bit. See, they're not quite on the page. And then the head. We want to lift the head up. On your spring, you're going to put a piece of glue on both sides, both ends. Just a little dot here and a little dot here. And you're going to put it underneath the head and hold. And you're going to make sure that your snake is nice and glued and I will walk around and help you with this spring step and then it should pull it up and you have a snake you can see it has a little spring Next we are going to do the dots in the background and we're going to be using black and white so that our neon snake really stands out. At your table you're going to get a cup of white, a cup of black, and some more q-tips. But before we do that we want to divide our background up in colors or in shapes. So I'm going to take this white color pencil and I'm just going to divide it up in sections. Going up to the snake and then notice I'm going off the page. They can be straight lines, they can be curvy lines, and we're going to put dots, different dots in each of them. You're going to have to, again, keep one side of the Q-tip clean, and one side of the Q-tip is used for the paint. I'm going to start. I just need to dip, 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start in one of those sections and I'm going to make a pattern of dots. Some of your sections you could do all black. Some of your sections you could do all white. Or if you wanted to do some of your sections both colors, some kind of pattern, you could do that as well. So here I think I'm just going to do all black. Taking my time, sharing the black cup at your table. And then this next one, I think I'm going to do both black and white. You can see I'm kind of rotating the paper so it's easy to reach, so our sleeves don't get in the paint. And I think I'm going to do um, maybe even a zigzag line of black. And then I'll get my white. And I'll get my black and white. And you will continue putting dots, different patterns, solid colors in all of the sections until your entire background is full with black and white dots. I'm going to keep going. I think this one I'm going to do all white. But you will keep going until your entire artwork is full of 